Now that Ophelia has been downgraded to a tropical depression, we get to breathe a little bit easier. This is what we see with the puddling on Rehoboth Beach, courtesy of our Boardwalk Plaza camera. Wind gusts have settled down tremendously compared to earlier today. We have a 20 mile per hour wind gust in Rehoboth, 23 at the Indian River Inlet, and 17, for example, in Greenwood. But just how bad was it? Well, take a look at this. We had a 64 mile per hour wind gust in Lewis, 58 Dewey Beach, 63 Indian River Inlet, 50 in Bethany Beach, and at least a 45 mile per hour wind gust in Rehoboth. As far as wind damage is concerned, to go along with the video that you saw at the top of the newscast, Milford, uh, we actually had some minor roof damage that was actually documented there, along with a large tree down in the dry bay in uh, Lincoln, Delaware. And then also we actually had in Long Neck, which you actually saw a large tree uprooted near Long Neck. Other than that, as far as official reports are concerned, we have some unofficial reports that are still being worked on at this present time, officially with the National Weather Service. Just hasn't hit our system just quite yet. Small craft advisories have now taken over the area where we had uh, tropical storm warnings. We're no longer under any kind of tropical storm warning, but we do have a high surf advisory for Accomack, Northampton, drill Sunday, and instead of a coastal flood warning, we're under an advisory here in Sussex and along the coast, a gale wind warning, so we're watching out for about 35 to 40 mile per hour winds here. Flood watch is in effect for Berlin, Newark, Cedartown, where Ocean City, but there's still a warning in effect for places like Salisbury, Hebron, Walnut, Eden, Trinity, Quantico, and Pittsville. Kind of depends on where you are. Because remember, we have the low pressure system with this occluded front here. That's this purple weird front you don't typically see. That's overlapping. Occluded means overlapping, overlapping front. Uh, so that's actually kind of curling its way out and bringing that heavier amount of rain as it tracks to the northeast, it's going to bring that heavy amount of rain towards the Salisbury area. But take a look at some of the rain that's already fallen. Over three inches of rain in Dagsboro, Delmar, Stockley, uh, Stokely, Stockley, however you want to say that, sorry, Harbison, and then over two and a half inches in Bethany Beach. At our official site in Georgetown, we had over three, 3.32 to be exact. And then some other areas where we had some impressive numbers, nearly three inches for us in Ellendale, as well as Georgetown. Uh, we had over two and a quarter in Lewis and Laurel and almost three full inches for us actually in Milford. And remember, this is in a very short period of time. As far as projections are concerned for future rain, we're looking really poultry for right now. So not much more rain is expected, but we're still expecting some. But it only takes a dab right now because we have so much rain that we've already collected. By 2 o'clock Sunday, we'll have a surge of winds coming out of the south. 29 mile per hour wind gust in Bethany Beach and Ocean City. And then Tuesday is very interesting. Winds shift directions. We're looking at temp winds moving at almost 40 mile per hour gusts. Keep a close eye on that, okay? Here's a look at your beach forecast. Wallops Island, we're looking for the rain to hold off until Tuesday, but it's going to look like it's going to rain for like two days in a row. For Ocean City, we are going to see two days of rain in a row for Monday and Tuesday for Ocean City, but staying cloudy on Sunday. Same holds true for South Bethany, by the way. And then finally, for Cape Henlopen, rainy on Sunday and a few sprinkles on Monday. But the main thing I want you to get for Dewey Beach and Cape Henlopen is it's going to be extremely breezy on Tuesday, okay? Here's a look at your Paul Davis Restoration Home Remodeling Extended Forecast. 40% chance of rain for Sunday and Monday, and then another round of rain next Friday and Saturday.